it's been a lot of fun getting to know the group that we have in place, um, listening to uh, how they think we're doing as an organization, um, and, and getting to have some of those aspirational discussions about what we want to be as an organization. Um, and so that's been uh, that's been enjoyable for me. We've, we've clearly got a lot of work to do in terms of uh, an off season coming up, um, completing a managerial process, hiring a coaching staff. Uh, there's a lot to do, but but I'm pleased with the progress we've made so far. In general, what I've learned is people are like proud to be Mets, and that's that's wonderful to hear. Um, that's true of our players. Uh, it's true of our our coaches um, throughout the organization. Um, in the front office, I think people. Um, are happy to be here and excited for what uh, we can become and, and where hopefully we're headed. <laughs> I, look, look, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Um, you know, I'll say, look, I, I love Craig, um, and, and uh, Craig and I are, are going to be close, um, hopefully for for a long time. Um, I think he's very good at what he does, and uh, throughout this whole process, um, you know, what I told Craig is, is he needs to make the right choice for himself, um, for him and his family, for what really fires him up. Um, and and gets him going, um, and, I, and I'm happy that, that he did. Did you get the sense he was interested in coming here? Um, we we talked about it clearly, um, and you know I I don't know. Um, you know Craig can play things pretty close to the vest, and in, in this case, clearly he played it very close to the vest because none of us had any idea of, of where this was headed. Um, and so I, I the truth is I never really knew. Um, uh, and and ultimately, um, you know he, he's a really smart guy. He, he factored in all the information, um, and he made he made the right decision for himself. David, before the news hit of what exactly he was doing, did he contact you to say it won't be you? Did you know it wouldn't be you? Yes, yes. And that's when you pivoted to other things. Well, I think we we had been running a robust process and are running a robust process um, throughout, and so we were having um, conversations with with many candidates, um, and. And, you know, as I think last week went along um, and, and ultimately um, you know, it became clear that Craig was, uh, was thinking elsewhere, um, you know, obviously that informed our process and how we move forward. This being your first time going through or at least running a manager search, what has that been like and what have you learned? Yeah, it's been pretty energizing for me. I think to have the ability to talk with really talented baseball people from throughout the industry um, people who are coming from different organizations, different backgrounds, uh, different perspectives than my own. Um, it's been educational for me. Uh, it's, I think it's highlighted for me that like, there, there are a lot of really talented people um, in our industry. I mentioned sort of the four in-person interviews that, uh, that we did that I went through. And um, yeah, all four of the people at that stage were, were exceptionally qualified um, and uh, and. and you know, I, I really enjoyed all of those. You have a uh, coaches under contract still from last year's staff, and you've mentioned wanting the manager to kind of have an input on his coaching staff. What, how does that dynamic play out now over the next week or so? Yeah, so what, once we have a manager, we'll begin to go through that process, um, and we can uh, begin to have those conversations and structure our staff. How far along are you in a GM search, and do you think it's necessary to fill that uh, position? Um, I'm not planning on filling that this offseason. Not I, I'm not planning on filling that this off. Okay. What was the uh, what's like the rationale reason for? We have enough going on. Uh, <laughs> we, we we we've got enough going on right now. Um, I think we've got a a, a front office grouping um, that is working well together. We're learning each other, um, and uh, and and frankly, that's a that's a process that requires immense time, um, and so we'll tackle that at a different point. You started the job on a Monday. Billy was out on Thursday. How did that play out from your perspective? What did you learn when? Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was fairly stunning. Um, that that entire week was a little bit of a blur, um, and, and clearly not what um, any of us had anticipated. Certainly not not what I had anticipated. Um, and then I think as we got towards the end of that week and we moved past, we we realized we have jobs to do, um, and as an organization, we need to move forward. And I'm really proud of the front office group, um, many of whom didn't know me very well at that point, um, but were, were extremely professional, responsible, um, and helped us move forward very quickly. Well, look, I, I think where we are as an organization, I've been very uh, explicit about this, and certainly Steve's been explicit about this. We're, we're, we're aiming to get to a place um, where we can compete 
consistently at a championship caliber level for a long time. Um, you generally don't do that by continuously raiding your farm system. Um, does that mean we're never going to trade prospects? Of, of course not. Um, does it mean we're going to be cautious when we do? Yeah. And, and does it mean that we're going to um, maybe do it a little bit judiciously and, and make sure it's the right moment and the right time for, um, for our organization to do that? I think that's probably fair. Um, but we're never going to, we're never going to shut down a conversation. Um, so to say that we're only going to, um, focus on one of those areas of currency, I I don't think would be the right thing to do. Um, so we're, we're certainly going to have trade discussions. Um, we're, we're certainly gonna have free agent discussions and, and we'll make the best moves that we think we can to improve the team. One of the ways you find out or we find out about a player is giving them a chance. Um, and giving them chances. And so we, we have multiple young players um, who have had various levels of success in the minor leagues who are really talented kids. Um, and at some point, they're going to get chances at the major league level. Um, uh, not all of them can probably get a chance on day one. That's, that's pretty tough to do. Um, but we have to construct a roster, and we will construct a roster um, that provides enough flexibility uh, so that our, our young, talented players um, do get a chance over the course of a year. I don't think competition is a bad thing um, for an organization as a whole. I, I don't think it's a bad thing to come to camp and say this fifth, this fifth starter spot or the last starter spot if we have six, whatever it is, is up for grabs. And it's going to be a competition between these three people. Um, I think that's actually healthy. Um, with that said, if, if we have the opportunity to... Um, fill out our starting rotation with solidified pitchers um, and there are deals that make sense for us or trades that make sense for us. I'm not going to close the door on that, um, but I'm not, I'm not opposed to having competition in spring training and, and leaving a spot open, as you suggest. What is the process like determining five-man versus six-man? Um, well, I think, one, it's, it's who's, who's, who's on our roster at that point, what, what the options are. Um, two, we need, frankly, need to take a, a closer look, and I haven't done this. Of what our April and May um, schedule looks like, um, I'm going to need to have a, a sit-down conversation a little bit more in depth than I have with Senga um, in terms of what his preferences are uh, from a usage perspective. Um, I think the Mets did a tremendous job managing that this past year, and I want to make sure um, we continue that and continuing continue to put him in the best position uh, to succeed. So I want to have that conversation. So. A number of different factors that are, that are really tough to address um, really until we get to spring training.